Okay, let us solve one more problem. Solve cot x plus cosecant x is equal to root 3. So, cot x plus cosecant x is equal to root 3 means, so far we have solved the problems which are in the form of a sin x plus b cos x is equal to c or a cos x plus b sin x is equal to c. But the given problem is not in the form of a sin x plus b cos x is equal to c. So, that is why the first of all we have to put that one in the form of a sin x plus b cos x is equal to c. So, what sort of procedure that we have followed the same has to be followed for this problem also. So, that we can solve this problem. So, that means first of all this cortex we have to change in terms of cos x and sin x whereas the cosecant x we have to change in terms of sin x after that it can be put in the form of a sin x plus b cos x is equal to c so that we can solve the problem ok. Let us start the solution. So, now here given cortex plus cosecant x equals to root 3. We know that cortex is in terms of cos and sin. So, cortex can be written cos x by sin x, cosecant x is 1 by sin x is equal to root 3. Now, here LCM is sin x cos x plus 1 equals to root 3 cross multiply on both sides see root 3 sin x equals to 1 plus cos x bring cos x this side. So, that means transpose cos x to the left hand side you get root 3 sin x minus cos x is equal to 1 yes what do you observe this is in the form of a sin x minus b cos x is equal to c. So, now we can solve. So, let us start our procedure. So, now divide both sides by root of here a stands for root 3, b stands for minus 1. So, root of a square plus b square do not get any confusion here. So, a square means root 3 square plus minus 1 square equals to 3 plus 1 that is root 4 equals to 2. So, that means divide both sides by 2. So, we get sin x into root 3 by 2 and minus cos x into 1 by 2 equals to 1 by 2. Now, appropriate trigonometric ratios are to be written instead of root 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 here. So, now, so this can be written sin x into cos of 30 degrees minus cos x into sin of 30 degrees equals to 1 by 2. Just observe it is in the form of sin of a minus b. Can we write sin of a minus b? Yes, why not? So, as it is in the form of sin of a minus b, let us write sin of a minus b form. So, we can write sin of x minus pi by 6 equals to 1 by 2 whose value is equivalent to sin of 30 degrees pi by 6. Here alpha is equal to principal value that is pi by 6. Now, general solution is x minus pi by 6 equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n alpha. Now, alpha we have to replace pi by 6. This is n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n pi by 6. Therefore, x equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n pi by 6 plus pi by 6 
with n belongs to z integer. So, this is the solution in this way we have to solve the problem. So, I hope you might have understood this problem. Solve tan, tan theta plus sec theta is equal to root 3. Here conditions are given theta should lie between 0 to 2 pi. So, that means in the specified interval we have to find out the solution of the given trigonometric equation. So, here general solution in addition to the specified solutions we have to find out in the required interval. So, that means here theta lies between 0 and 2 pi and equal to 0 and may be equal to 2 pi. So, let us solve it first of all. So, if you observe the problem, the problem is not in the form of a sin x plus b cos x is equal to c. So, that means first of all we have to put in the form of a sin x plus b cos x is equal to c. Solve find general solution. So, just apply the cases that means n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. We get the solutions from that we have to pick, pick up the required solution which lies in between 0 and 2. So, first let us solve the problem. Here solution given tan theta plus sec theta is equal to root 3. This tan theta is sin theta by cos theta plus sec theta is 1 by cos theta equals to root 3. Now, here cos theta is the LCM. So, sin theta or 1 plus sin theta equals to root 3 cross multiply. Here 1 plus sin theta equals to root 3 cos theta. Now, root 3 cos theta sorry this is sin theta minus root 3 cos theta equals to 1. Now, it is in the form of a sin theta plus b cos theta is equal to c. So, now we can solve like this divide both sides by root of a square plus b square, a stands for 1, b stands for minus root 3. So, 1 square minus root 3 square, 1 plus 3 root 4 which equals to 2, okay, correct. Now, this can be written sin theta multiplied by 1 by 2 and minus cos theta into root 3 by 2 equals to 1 by 2. This is sin A cos B minus cos A sin B that is nothing but sin of A minus B form. So, that means first of all 1 by 2 is replaced by its suitable cosine value. In the similar manner root 3 is root 2 by root 3 by 2 is replaced by its suitable sin value. So, now sin theta into cos of here 60 degrees minus cos theta sin of 60 degrees equals to 1 by 2. Now, directly we can write, shall we write it? Yes, let us write. This is sin of theta minus pi by 3 equals to 1 by 2 whose sin value is sin 30 that is nothing but pi by 6. What is the principal value? Yes, alpha is equal to principal value is pi by 6. Now, let us write the general solution, general solution. Here general solution is theta minus pi by 3 equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n alpha. What does alpha stand for? 
here alpha stand for pi by 6. So, now this equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n pi by 6 here, here n belongs to integer z. So, now theta equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n pi by 6 plus pi by 3. This is the general solution. But here we are not asked the general solution here. Specified solution actually is being asked. So, that means we have to write n values here. So, that means first you write on case 1 or something n is equal to 0 write on. You get theta is equal to this is 0 plus pi by 6 plus pi by 3. 6 is the LCM pi plus 2 pi that is 3 pi by 6 is pi by 2. You are very careful pi by 2 will not satisfy because here cos theta become 0 that is why here one more condition we have to mention cos theta does not equal to 0 that is why it is not valid leave it not solution. Now n is equal to 1 you consider so you get theta is equal to pi minus 1 to the power of n is minus 1 so minus pi by 6 and plus pi by 3. So, this is actually we have pi by 3 60 minus 30 30 only pi plus pi by 6 this is 7 pi by 6 7 pi by 6 means 2 2 10 2 10 lies in between 0 to 2 pi only yes this is the solution correct you go to n is equal to 2 now n is equal to 2 now theta is equal to 2 pi plus pi by 6 plus pi by 3. It will be more than 2 pi. So, leave it. So, one solution. What is the solution we have? 7 pi by 6. So, therefore, theta is equal to 7 pi by 6 is the solution.